Um, it's no secret that with Artemis, NASA intends to land the first woman on the moon, and you are eligible to be that woman. Um, how do you feel about the possibility of not only landing on the moon or possibly on Mars, but to be the first woman to land on the moon? Well, it's a wonderful uh, testament to the progress that women have made that now we have women uh, that are part of the astronaut program that started with the uh, space shuttle era. And uh, as we have gone on to select uh, more classes, we've seen um, uh, several women uh, come into the astronaut office to be eligible for uh, this Artemis mission. Mm -hmm. So of course, now that we have women in the office, women are eligible for these uh, flights uh, to the moon mm -hmm. uh, now as part of the Artemis program. So we are very excited about that. Uh, I, am, of course, am excited to be included among the group and uh, look forward to whoever the first woman is and the women who follow as part of the Artemis program to um, continue our studies of the moon, continue to uh, uh, descend down to the surface in a lander, and hopefully to uh, build a, a lunar base uh, there on the moon, and continue our journey from the Gateway Orbiting Laboratory. This is a laboratory that we're building to orbit the moon as a waypoint uh, to Mars or deep space. Absolutely. Um, now you just touched on this a little bit, but a lot of people wonder, why go to the moon or even why go to Mars? You know, what's the point of it? Is this just for fun? Do we just like to explore? And I'm curious kind of what your perspective is on that or, or, or how you respond to, to things when people say them. We, of course, love to explore. I think uh, being adventurous and being explorers is in our nature. It's in the history of, uh, of, of how we have developed Earth. And so that naturally continues to the space frontier. But uh, we also learn a great deal about um, ourselves and we're able to bring that technology back to Earth. So all of the uh, studies that we're doing on the International Space Station and the fields of biology, biotechnology, uh, medical science uh, for humans, um, space science, uh, physical sciences, material sciences, all of these processes that we are able to improve and learn about on the space station and also uh, for uh, our lunar base will improve our lives here on Earth. All of the technology that we have gained through uh, the space program right now with the computing technology, we have great uh, capability in cell phones uh, through the advances in lightweight materials uh, because launching something into, into space that's heavy is very costly. Yeah. We now have lightweight um, frames for uh, science equipment and so forth, tennis rackets, uh, bicycles and all of those uh, uh, strides that we've made in new composite materials transfer over to our lives every day. So our technology and our lives here on Earth are greatly enriched uh, by the things that we learn and, it's, and the changes that we make in technology for aerospace, not to mention all of the uh, strides that we've made in medical devices and medical procedures. Definitely. So solving for space really does solve for Earth. It does. It really does. And it translates uh, equally. Absolutely. Um, so I just have one more question for you. Thank you again so much for chatting with me. If there were any place in the solar system, or even beyond if you want to go there, um, that would be kind of your dream destination. As an astronaut, as a scientist, as an explorer, where would that be? It really would be Mars. I think that yeah. they have, uh, the scientists have gotten it right. Um, Mars is, uh, should definitely be our next step. We have sent many of the robotic spacecraft, um, often uh, managed and uh, um, a launch for NASA by the, uh, uh, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory and uh, that gives us a great look at uh, mapping the surface of Mars and so we have uh, insight into uh, those uh, surfaces and what we can expect to see before sending humans and so that's a nice way to uh, work the robotic missions in, uh, in conjunction with the human missions. So we have that information already and so planning those missions to Mars um, you know, it's, it should, it's a, we, we already have that initial foundation, and so that should be our next step.